Hello everybody, so today we are making a start on our kind of autumn work. Just squeezing through the gateway. So we are in our stubble field. So this is the field, it was fodder beat last year, uh, spring wheat this year, you saw, so this is the field, half was cut with our combine and before it broke and then the other half was cut with a John Deere. The crop we want to plant for next year is back into grass. So what we're going to do, we have a power harrow on. What we're going to do, we're going to have a little experiment, see if it'll work. We're just going to come in straight into the stubble. I mean, it has had half an inch of rain in the last two days, so it's not dry anymore. It has got a little bit of moisture in the surface. And we're hoping we can come in, just tickle the top inch, get a seed bed, put our grass seed in without plowing. We're going to see if it works. So let's see how we go. Take a minute or two just to get set up. We will see if it if it's a go, you know, if it is a viable proposition to do this without plowing. So let's give it a go. Get our what we'll have to do we'll have to set the top link up a little bit I'm not sure where we're running depth wise at the minute Go a little way, get off the headland, get back in, get into the centre. Seems to be doing an okay job, looks like from here anyway. Let's see what it looks like in real life. Okay, so it's never going to look pretty. We're always going to get stubble on the surface, but we've got plenty of moisture in there, plenty of depth of tilth. And uh, that's plenty, you know, that's quite nice actually, quite pleased with that. Um, how deep actually is it? Yeah, I'm not really sure how deep we want to go. That's probably maybe a little bit too much. But uh, it's bringing up a decent seed bed. Plenty of moisture. Uh, we're kind of running, you know, that's old surface, that's where we're going to, we're probably two inches deep. I think I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go up and down at that for a little bit, see what it looks like, and uh, see if that's good enough. So I'm running at a slight angle to where it was drilled in the spring, because we don't want to be following the tram, you know, we didn't put tram lines in, but we want to be slightly crossing the drill rows. So let's see how we go. Back up a little bit, I think. Blocking up a little bit on the trash board or the leveling board. Right, I think we're going too deep. Just making a mess. Could be a little bit sticky. Then we'll just screw the top link out just a little bit to raise the front just a smidge. Right, so I have very slightly lengthened the top link. There is, in behind the rotors, there's a board going along which will contain some soil and level it off. 
I think it's a bit too trashy with this stubble. It's holding it in too long. It's not flowing underneath. So I've lifted that right up out of the way. Let's try again. So we have been running our dry cows, or let the dry cows are next door. We've we have been letting them run out here for a couple of days, just for a different view, really, because there's nothing to eat. Uh, but you can see, we won't see them in a minute. You'll see them all passing by. They're all going to disappear. I'm going to shut the gate now and keep them out, because once we start working soil, they just start messing about with it, playing with it, and we don't want none of that. Right, done a little bit more with our new settings. See if that's any better. Okay, so this bit here is the kind of leveling board. So I've turned that, wound it right up, and it's now letting the trash run through better. So this is what we're doing now. I think that's okay. It is just a smidge bit wet, um, but it's a good strong breeze. It's only going to dry out. I think I'm quite happy with that. We're much shallower now. Maybe even a bit too shallow. See, this is what cows do. They'll turn, they get all over it, chew it up. Let's get rid of the cows. I'll try calling them, see if they'll follow. Put them back out in the grass field. Come on, then. Come on, you lot. Come on, then. You can see also, first day of hedge trimming. Um, We'll try and get a bit of film of that in a minute. So we need to get the hedges done out here before we uh, work the work the field. So that's first first day of hedge trimming, and it is I think it's the sixth today, sixth of September. So come on then, come on then, come on then. Right, so we seem to be happy with the way it's going now. Uh, cows are gone, so they can't play in our play in the soil anymore. It's, it's always the same. You give a cow like a, a bone, an old bonfire, you know, a pile of ash or some bare dirt. They've always got to dig about and rub their heads and all that. So we can't trust them. Let me know. So as soon as I start out here, it's, it's time for them to leave. They've just been out here, like I said, just having a look, you know, enjoying the view really because they've been on. Been on dry cows have been on hay for oh well, easily a month, so we just come out here for have a something different to look at. And uh, but their their playtime is over now, so we'll just plod on up and down. We're getting along quite nicely now. So I didn't get very much done that first day. It didn't start till quite late in the afternoon. And then I went milking. And then we had about three, four days of rain after that. So I'm 
like five days later now, just finishing off. So I've just got between here and the hedge to do, and then the headland, and that's it. Um, it's actually after that rain, it's actually working down a little bit nicer, a bit more moisture in the soil, uh, and the rain was desperately needed. Um, we, we had no grass left. Um, so when we did the slurry spreading video, I don't know, three weeks ago, something like that, maybe a month, um, I said just prior to that we had had uh, quite, a, quite a heavy rainfall, um, and that green, made the grass grow enough to, to come back to green, but it didn't grow on and grow much fresh grass. But now after this last week of rain, it is starting to grow again now, and we have actually got grass just coming back for the cows, which is good. So it held us up on here, but it was more important to get some grass growing. So, you know, we needed the rain. That's, just, that's all there is to it. So this has got to be one of the scruffiest looking seed beds we've ever had, with regards to trash still on the top. But, you know, that's, you know, we, you know, that's how it is. We're not blowing it, we're just tickling the top. Uh, but the soil, the seed bed, is perfect. It's very nice. So, as soon as the grass starts coming through and is a few inches tall, it will cover all the stubble and you will never see it again. Uh, and hopefully one of the benefits of not ploughing, um, because it, this was ploughed in the spring obviously for the wheat, the longer the soil is undisturbed the more it settles down and is a bit firmer underneath, which is what we need for bringing the cows out as early as practical in the spring. Uh, firmer soil they're not going to tread it and damage our new grass. If we ploughed this it would make it much softer again and then potentially, depending on the weather next spring, we could get some damage, hopefully by having it a little bit firmer. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it will survive a bit better. It will be a nice, nice bit of grass fairly early for, uh, for next start of next grazing season. So that is it, we are just on the final little bit of the headland and that is the whole field finished. So what we'll do, it's milking time now, so we're going to come back tomorrow uh, and put the seed in and roll it. So the seed is just going to be broadcast with the fertilizer spreader, same as we do uh, the rest of our grass seed. So that will be coming up shortly. Right, so now we are the next day. As you can see, it is a lovely sunny day and seed is going in. So, um, brother is down there on a spreader. He's just putting some more bags in. So we'll have a little film of him in a minute. And 1200 is out. You won't see it, it's too far away. But 1200 is rolling. So I'm gonna go rolling in a minute. Dad's just going around the first time, <clears throat> just so I can do a little bit of filming. So here is our seed bed, like we said, very untidy looking with all the straw but very very nice seed bed moisture in there this this sun will you know the seed the soil is warm there's moisture there a little bit of wheat there growing don't want him he should have been in the should have been in the trailer shouldn't he anyway just pull the wheat out yeah I think that's an unthreshed ear growing out of an unthreshed ear so what is going into here is grass I think I, I think I probably said that yesterday so being put in with the fertilizer spreader um, when you spread in with a so when you put in grass with the fertilizer spreader because grass seed is very light it doesn't throw very far or doesn't travel very far out of the spreader so we'll just lose that brick so what he's got to do is got to drive very close together his bout width is basically a tractor width apart that's all he's doing so, so this bit here has been planted but not yet rolled and there's a trouble there we are so here's the seeds here just land in just leave them on the surface uh, a lot of people will drill grass seed so when you drill it you just put it in very very shallow and just tickle the surface really to cover it um, we by far majority of our grass seed is just broadcast left on the surface and rolled. That's all we ever do. We have drilled in the past, but not for a very long time. We seem to get good results with just broadcasting it and putting it on with the spreader. It is a really quick job. 
and then the slow bit is rolling it in afterwards. Right, so we're getting there, we are nearly finished. I have just this little bit to do. So I've had to come back, it's now after milking. I was, in a normal day, I would have stayed another 20 minutes and finished this little bit. But it's milk recording day today. Had the milk recorder come in, I couldn't be late. So well, that's why I've come back now. Anyway, so, as you can see, all this is done. Rolled down nice and flat, this is still to go. So, what we're using, as you've seen, we have got the flat roller on first and then the ring roller so in effect we're rolling it twice in one pass got the flat roller being filled with water not right full but uh, kind of this full it gives us the heavy compaction to get the seed and the soil touching uh, and nice and firm and then we come along behind with the ring roller that's nowhere near as heavy but it does a little bit more rolling but also what it does it leaves the ridged surface on the soil which if I can find some in amongst all the stubble hopefully the camera can see it so this is the ridged profile and what that does what those ridges in the soil do they stop it capping over so if we were to get some heavy rain on this fine tilth this fine seed bed potentially in certain soils that can put, cause a cap to, to form over and um, it gets quite hard and the seed can't break through by leaving the ridge surface, it's less li likelihood of doing that. So the two rollers together do two jobs in one and, uh, and leave our ridge surface just in case we get that capping issue or to prevent that capping issue. Right, so let's quickly finish off. It's not gonna take long, but um, it's gonna get dark in a minute. That's September for you. Soon it gets dark in the evenings.
Okay, so there we go, we are all finished. And this is the first time I've ever turned on the work lights on the 1200. Um, I have to say, I've always said I was going to take them off because they're all LEDs and I don't like the look of them. And one day, I will. But they'll, they'll get me home for tonight, anyway. So that is the end of this video. So I will say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. A um, bit of power harrowing, a bit of seeding, and a bit of rolling. And uh, I have to say, I've enjoyed playing with the 1200 again because I don't get to do it very often. Anyway, so there we go. So thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.